right, it's been a while. Let's get some good lighting in here. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. It's February 14th, 2023, and I'm back. I feel like I just have not been vlogging. Keeping up with you guys. Showing you guys kind of like what's been going on. Oh, man, it's just been like a lot of, um, just a lot of movement, man. Just trying to figure out like how I want to approach the YouTube channel. I've kind of gotten away from just like speaking to you guys, just me and you. So it's been a minute, but I'm back. I want to get back to editing some of my own YouTube videos. Uh, so I can have that personal touch and like have you guys kind of feel more grounded with me. I want to get back to being that 21 or 20 year old. I was like back at the back of my apartment or my mom's crib with like all of the uh, posters and superhero posters up on my wall. And I just feel like I've gotten away from that. And um, it's just been like a lot of just a lot of movement, man. A lot of movement. So I'm back. I'm back. Ain't really leave, but I'm back. But anyways, I'm sipping on the finest BPN. So I know over the last like year or so, the relationship with BPN has changed just because of the nature of their business has changed. And I respect that. We have a new pack from BPN. Obviously we have the fly pre-workout, the creatine that I take on a daily basis. Damn, the beta alanine is kicking in. I can literally feel like a tingle in my kneecap. Uh, we got the endo pump, more fly whey protein, and strong joints, strong multivitamins, and strong omegas. I kind of, this isn't, this isn't what y'all think it is. This is definitely reminiscent of protein powder because I had some protein. I had a protein shake this morning. But good news for you guys. I know a lot of you guys were pissed. Y'all were mad whenever y'all found out that there is no longer discount codes or BPN. That was a business model that they tackled last year. I'm here to give you guys a quick secret. I'm not sure if I can even say this, but <clears throat> they may or may not be bringing codes back this year. We'll see though. We'll see. I, I, I ain't, you know. I ain't gonna promise nothing, but you could definitely use my code or my link. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that to y'all. You can use my link to still support me. It's in my description box. If you guys wanna shop BPN, this is all the supplements that I use. Literally everything I showed y'all are stuff that I take on a consistent basis. Creatine, obviously, most tested um, supplement ever. You wanna make sure you're taking this on a daily basis, a scoop a day. Strong joints, strong multivitamins, and the strong omegas, which is gonna be your fish oil. And then I take the pre every single day to work out. And as you can tell, the pre is already kicking in. So I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna try my best to vlog today in its entirety. Mm. I'm about to head on to the gym right now, so let me pack my stuff. But today we got squats, because today's Tuesday. It's also Valentine's Day. I sent my mom some flowers. Look at that, she looks so happy. I like that, man. Warning, some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, so I might piss some people off by saying this. Okay, so I got these. I got the AirPod Pros or whatever you want to call them. And I got my Beats. These are my classic Beats that you guys have been watching me use in all my videos since like I was like a little young jit. I think these are a million times better than the Air AirPod, Mac AirPod Maxes because these actually stay on your head versus the Air Mac Pros that don't. Or Max Pro Plus, whatever they're called. They don't stay on your head like that. Like, I'd be benching with them and they just do not stay on. But let me know in the comment section of what you guys think. I personally think these are way better. And they kind of look cooler too, in my personal opinion. It's time to grab the shoe of the day. <sighs> okay, let's figure out what we got here. So the fit that I have on currently are the, right, uh, the racing shorts, probably like three drops ago, with a black tank. I'm thinking, since I got white socks on, I think I'm gonna go with my white cement threes. I haven't worn these in a minute. I was going to do my lost and founds. But I've been abusing those, so let's go ahead and roll with these bad boys. Now before we leave, I'm gonna chug this pre-workout. Mm. <sighs> Good. By the way, still stands, strawberry kiwi, kiwi, best flavor, best flavor. All right, so we got water bottle and we got shoes. Let's bounce. Also, I don't know how many of you guys actually respond to the comment section. I was watching a Barbara Brigade video, and this is a conversation that I've got shitted on for on Instagram. But in powerlifting, there's coefficients like formulas in which people try to determine who the best lifter is and should be. And uh, I said, dots is bullshit. Let me tell you why. Dots or any other lifting formulas obviously have lifting biases or biases within weight classes. And when you have those things, it's kind of hard to determine who truly is the best. I just go off of Who's the top dog in terms of like, who has secured the many, uh, the most wins in the Federation at the time, you know? 
um, those lifting formulas are always going to change and they're always going to favor different lifters. So you can't really rely on them to say like, oh, this person is the best lifter. Because if we're looking at it, there's some lifters on there that are better than me and ranked higher than me that haven't won shit. So I can't sit here and say that they're a better lifter than me because I don't think that. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, I think it's a good debate. Actually, I don't think it's a good, bit, good debate, but you know, nonetheless, it's still always interesting to hear what you guys got to say about stuff like that. Raindrops are falling on my head. It's a rainy ass day here in Houston. I'm a very motivated person. I, I, there's, it's very hard to keep me outside of the gym. I'm not gonna lie, it being rainy is definitely one of those things that maybe we just want to stay inside. It's, I don't know what it is, man. It's just so like, uh, I don't know, it just takes the juice out of everything. Oh, huh? no, no, no. I, I brought those, but like, what's it called? They were like this when I got them. You should always take price off. Oh. Day. You know why? Because it just shows like, the, you know? Are you putting this in your video? Yeah, I am. No. <laughs> um, so we do this, so we're, we're doing this thing here at Corrupted today for uh, day passers. So it's Valentine's Day. And we came up with the idea of like, oh, if you bring like your swole mate, it's going to be $5 for each of you guys, $10 total. Our day passes usually run us about $15 per person. But we're like, you know what? Hey man, if you pull up with a you know training partner, then we'll give you, you know, $5 day pass. So I made a joke on my store and I said, oh, like if you pull up, <laughs> if you pull up to corruption with your sneaky link, <laughs> you know, you get $5 day pass. Like Paul's definitely pulled up to the gym with sneaky links. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, what is it? Okay. I don't know stuff, but like, what, what is exactly is a sneaky link? A sneaky link is like someone that you don't want everyone knowing you're with. With, like how? Like dating or? Both. Dating, it's mostly dating. Oh, okay, I yeah. thought it was something bad. No, 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 it's just like you're with someone that you don't want, like it's not out yet. Like let's say maybe you're talking to a girl and you kind of oh. don't want people to know that you guys are together, so it's like a sneaky link, you know? So uh, yeah, so if you pull up to the gym today, I mean, this video is gonna be out already. But right now, obviously getting the equipment to lift. I'm tired of squatting in SBDs. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm kind of past like working on SBD equipment. By the end of this year, I wanna be in all GBT equipment. So what we have are prototypes for the Better Today knee sleeves that I've been rocking for the past couple of weeks. That So we got boom. Get Better Today logo, and another Get Better Today logo. Look how sexy this uh, little mix up is. <laughs> It's funny, like all the stuff I had to do now to get ready to lift. I remember when I was younger, I just walk in and just like, I mean, I still warmed up a decent amount, but I can definitely walk in and just start training. Now that I'm getting close to 30, that shit ain't happen. If I pull up and just start lifting, definitely like 100% injury. Like, it's not even close. Relatively warmed up. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to get warmed up completely for squats, just because it's a big muscle group that we're working, and uh, it just takes a minute. But I think today's fit is a dub. White cement threes with uh, the GBT racing shorts in red, and the GBT tank in black, and the GBT hat. God, what the fuck is that? Anyways, <laughs> I think it was like a booger. Now we're gonna complete the piece. We're gonna put the grill in, so we got it right here. Ah. Uh, now, we really, we really, we really <laughs> ready to live. Let me tell you guys how my mind works. Pre-workout flowing, testosterone is at an all-time high. So currently there's no like racks for squatting, like combo racks that I like. So like I would use this rack, but the way that it's positioned, like the lighting is just gonna be horrible for you guys, viewing wise. Dylan is already on this rack, Duhon just put up to that rack, and there's another rack over that's being used. So now I have to use the, the rig. So like, you, you'll never know this if you were here, but now I'm pissed off. Like I'm, I'm just aggravated, I'm angry. 
I'm gonna channel all that frustration, that anger, into the bar right now. So, I'm already pissed off before we start the workout. So now, um, like I said, today is gonna be somewhat of an easy day, somewhat. It's RPF seven, which means like not too heavy. But we'll see. Uh, I'm managing like a little back injury thing. It's not really serious, but just something to take note of. So let's go and get to work. Uh, I'm not gonna really talk that much leading up to my top set. Uh, I'm just gonna let you guys kind of watch me work. So let's get it. <laughs> A few moments later <laughs> you guys uh, I should have done that <laughs> oh this is like when ego is like could be the death of you today's session was supposed to be RP of seven I should have definitely stopped at 675 pounds and uh, I get sometimes like when I come inside the gym I get so emotionally wound up that I just want to hit something heavy like I literally look at my program and I like convince myself that my anger can make me lift more weight and get the prescribed RPE that I have for the session. But as I got to 585 pounds, I knew that 675 would probably be the best number for my single at RPF 7. And then I got to 675 and I'm like, damn, that's not enough. Like, I'm still pissed. I still want to get this, uh, this energy out. And uh, I moved up to 675 and I just shouldn't have done that. And that happens like a decent amount, like when I'm on program. Um, it's like, I think it's like one of my biggest weaknesses as a lifter. Sometimes I allow emotion to dictate me, or, or I allow emotion to dictate kind of like my moves. So I'll just, you know, load up uh, weight that I shouldn't be loading up and convince myself that I can move at an RP that is subscribed for the day. So I just wanted to go jump on here and say like, yes, I mean, hitting 735 is fucking dope. But in regards to my program, I didn't stay true to it. And I could recognize when I fucked up. Like I definitely overshot that and it was definitely unnecessary. So uh, today was like, somewhat of a failure at a certain extent I mean like whenever I move off a program like that and I don't do what I'm supposed to be doing it's kind of like I looked at I looked at I look at that as like a failed session and I'm I think I overworked myself for today's session but I mean it was a single so it's not gonna be too detrimental to the rest of the week but I mean it's still like a shit ton of weight to move so I'm gonna focus on keeping the volume where it's supposed to be but definitely like let my emotions rule me for today's session I definitely overshot today's single no worries though I just wanted to kind of like document and show you guys like you guys are like oh like you never like mess up you never fail um, that's not true like when you're on RP program or like you're on a prescribed workout there's definitely ways to fail without actually failing and today I, I failed <laughs> Let's finish up the 4x5, 4 5 um, that session kicked my ass. <laughs> uh, so, uh, for those of you guys that don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, this past Saturday I squatted 705 pounds for 3 reps, so it just took a lot of juice out of me. And typically when that, whenever I have like a big, big set like that, it's mostly either on squat or deadlift, one of the two. Like the following squat sessions for like like the next week or two, it's gonna take a while to recover. So uh, today's session, it was like pretty good being able to squeak out 735, which is great. Um, but the back down sets was like killer. So uh, we're done for the day. I'm gonna do probably like 20 minutes of cardio before I jump on out. 
but I'm gonna wrap up. I was gonna do some legs today, but honestly, it ain't worth it, especially with the amount of damage I did for today's session. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. Also, the reason why I don't do legs, I know a lot of people like assume, like I got big ass legs, right? A, little, a lot of people probably assume that I work out legs extremely hard, uh, which I do on squat, because I get a lot of uh, leg, I get a lot of work for my legs on squat. I used to go crazy on leg day, like leg day used to be my favorite day. Um, but I have to prioritize powerlifting. So I have, I've had an ACL injury. Let me show you guys the scar. Shout out to all the ACL people. Drop a like if you're in there. But you can see the scar right here. Um, so I've torn my ACL before. And for those of you guys that know, when you tear your ACL, at, like there's like fluid that tends to build up in your knee when it's a little bit overworked. Uh, so every single time I do like a leg day, fluid builds up in my, knee, in my knee and it makes it super uncomfortable to squat the following squat session. And even like walk, like even like hyperextending or just like bending it a little bit, it just creates like a buildup and it causes like a little bit of like resistance. So I try to just do what I can for squat and squat and then like kind of leave it up and I just don't do anything after. Um, maybe here and there I might squeeze in a leg day and I'll be fine, but for the most part, it's just too much maintenance and rehab to keep doing leg days over and over and over again, especially especially at my advanced age. So let's take all this fucking weight off and then uh, do this cardio. One eternity later. 20 minutes cardio done. Shit. So I just talked to Joey on the uh, on Instagram. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we just chopped it up. We were, I just told him like, hey, hey man, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I overshot us. I overshot a lot today. Just, just told him the situation. I've been working with Joey so long. We already know the vibes. He knows I know. Uh, he just reiterated. He just reiterated that we can't be doing that. And uh, you know, he said it's not as bad. Damn, I was trying to post it up. But he said it wasn't as bad as he as I told him originally. So um, I mean still not good, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So uh, we move on, no worries. So now, time to go home and get some work done and then hopefully start playing the Harry Potter game. Super excited for that. So I made it back to the crib. Don't laugh at my setup, but <laughs> I got the Harry Potter game up right now. So what I'm gonna do is eat a post-workout meal shower play the game and then just enjoy the evening i just wanted to jump on here let me sit up i just want to jump on here really quick and just kind of like not make a commitment but just tell you guys that i'm gonna try my best to kind of come back and do these uh vlogs on a more consistent basis obviously i'm also going to be doing the commercial gym videos and all that kind of stuff um please let me know if there's anything that you guys personally want to see yeah i just want to keep you guys updated with my life and just have you guys feel more connected to me because i feel like for the last couple of months man it's just been kind of hard for me to jump on camera and actually film myself and then go and edit myself and upload myself. I just wanna get back to it. So, um, yeah, man, we just have a lot of big goals. I think also to close out this video, I can let you guys know the exact goals that I have. I talked about it maybe two videos back, but I'm in prep right now for September, which is going to be my six nationals. Yeah, my six nationals, I'm going for six. So the journey for this year is going for six and focusing on that and then closing the chapter of being an 82 or like yeah 82 and a half to 83 kg weightlifter or powerlifter i've given this weight class everything i've had um for the past six years and what i would love to do is to win my sixth title and kind of push that record i don't think anyone's won six i could be wrong i don't think anyone's won six titles in the 83 to 82 and a half kg weight class I could be wrong, someone researched that, I'm not sure. Maybe like some dude back in the day or something like that, but what I want to do is solidify myself or at least put myself in the discussion as to as to being one of the greatest 82 to 83 kg weight uh, powerlifters of all time, and then move up. So I want to tackle on the 90 to 93 kg weight class going forward. The amount of gains and the amount of progression that I've had kind of like lifting at that weight has been absolutely phenomenal, but I do want to close the, ca uh, the, the chapter of competing as an 82 to 83 kg weight uh, powerlifter, I keep saying weightlifter, but um, I think I just want to leave this class on a, on a high note and do something incredibly special that hasn't been done before, and I know that that starts now. So like, um, adhering to nutrition and all that kind of stuff starts now. I've had like a rough start to this year just because there's been a lot of traveling and a lot of putting stuff together for um, the brand and all that kind of stuff. But 
as things are kind of slowing down a little bit more where like we don't have to travel as much i want to focus on just being present and being here and, and working so um yeah that's everything that's coming up for the next year i just want to like maintain this high energy and the good vibes and all that kind of stuff and just look forward to building on this um so a lot of these personal vlogs are gonna be coming out more so you guys can like just catch up with me on a personal level and just see what's going on because it's just been a minute but other than that i think that's it man i'm just gonna i'm gonna enjoy the evening have some fun and my fun is the game <laughs> And that's pretty much it. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. Like always, if you guys like today's video, please, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give it up today. I'm out.